they had um, uh, different parades with them, um, and I, I can't remember the years they were, but I know I was on a float for one, and it was the uh, Niagara Canners float, which is that winery on the Lake Shore Road, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, but Niagara Canners was a canning factory there before it was a winery, and I, I know I was on that float, and um, I was quite a bit younger when I was in those floats. I must have been maybe 15, 16. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that we had here. It was fairly quiet. I mean, we didn't have too many things going on, especially in the winter, other than the skating. And, and in the summer, um, er, like a lot of activity revolved around the dock area, like we all swam at the dock. I always swam at the dock. I didn't swim in the lake very much. We, it was deep water and we liked it there. And they had a big tower that you could dive off. That's where the jet boats go out now. Um, it, the firemen always put on something on the uh, Labor Day, and they used to have a greasy pole, and they had an old um, telephone pole that they'd rig up, and, and they'd grease it all with oil, black goo, goo and they'd put a, a $10 bill on the end of it. <clears throat> and the guys would have to try and get out to that to get the money, and the first one to get the money could keep it. But of course, everybody would be falling off into the water if they couldn't get there because it was so greasy. But that was something that I remember from um, always, every year they had that on, on the, and the firemen were very active in town. They had a, they used to have the uh, um, ball on uh, New Year's and it was in the town hall and they, um, the one man used to make the coffee, and I remember he used to put a dozen eggs in it, shells and all, he'd break them up and put it in, he said it kept the coffee clear, and they made it in a great big kettle, and cooked it on top of the stove. And the, the, the women, there was a, a women's auxiliary in the fire department, and we made the sandwiches. And we used to get the squares, they were slab cakes we'd get from the bakery and cut up, and everybody went to the town hall on New Year's Eve for the dance. And I know the the, the fireman, uh, before the fireman had that ball, it used to be called the fisherman's ball, but I don't remember that because we had a, a whole bunch of fishermen uh, that had little shacks along the edge of the, uh, of the dock area. And their nets used to hang behind and be dry. <coughs> and there used to be a lot of good fish here. We had a fish market down at the dock. And, uh, Archie Bishop ran the fish market, and he had it for many years. I spent a lot of time at the dock because my uncle and aunt rented a little house that's still down there. And he worked shift work, and my aunt was afraid to stay alone at night, so I used to stay down there with her at night. So I spent a lot of time at the dock. And uh, uh, the fish market was just right on the water, and the building's still there, but I, I don't think there's anybody in it now. And Archie Bishop, he left it to his nephew when he died, Goring Ball. <laughs>